in the DAX. So we are going to discuss about filter functions. One of the important category of functions in this first function I'll discuss in today's class is calculate function. Calculate function. So calculate is a, a filter function. So what is the use of this calculate function? Let me explain this. So one of the most important function in the DAX is calculate. There is no doubt in it. So we'll use in lot of cases and let me explain what this calculate function will do. So let me open power by desktop. So calculate function is used to evaluate an expression by passing the filter conditions case. Calculate function is used to evaluate an expression by passing the filter conditions. Let me write here. Calculate. When we will use calculate DAX function is calculate function is used to evaluate an expression. Evaluate an expression by passing the filter conditions. By passing filter conditions. Yes, you will understand what is this. For now, what is the purpose of calculate function is calculate function is used to evaluate an expression by passing the filter conditions. What it means? What it means? Let's discuss. What it means? Let's discuss here. So let me load an order table into the power pivot. Let me load an order table. Click on Excel, sample superstore, click on open. Order table, click on load guys. So once you load the order table, I want to show sum of sales. There is a sales column. I want to show what is the total sum of sales we have. When I want to show what is the total sum of sales, so whenever you need to get sum of sales, what we need to create? We need to create a measure. Select the orders table, go to the table tools, click on new measure and write the measure name as sum of sales and write the formula. Take sum function and pass the sales column which will give the total sales case. So when I go and create any visual here, it will give complete sales. I will go and drag this measure which will show the complete sales. What is the total sales we have? 2.3 million is the total sales. Okay. The total sales is 2.3 million. So now I want to create a measure where I want to show here. So create a measure to show some of sales. Create a, a measure to show sum of sales case. To show sum of sales. So when you want to create a measure to show sum of sales, what is the formula we written? We written this formula. We written this formula. Right. Sum of sales. To show sum of sales, we written this formula. And now client is asking to create a measure to show sum of sales where region equal to central. Where region equal to central. The meaning is I want to show sum of sales for only central region. Create a measure to sum of sales where region equal to central. So now this sum of sales is for all the four regions. All the four regions. This time I don't want sum of sales for all the four regions. I want sum of sales for only one region, central region. That means I want to create an expression. I want to create a calculation by passing the filter condition region equal to central by passing the filter condition here. So when you want to create an expression by passing the filter condition what we can do guys. So I said that we need to use calculate function whenever you need to evaluate an expression by passing the filter conditions you need to go and use calculate function here. So I want to create one measure select this table click on new measure. So in that measure what I need to show is central region sales, central sales. 
when you want to show only central region sales so when i write sum of sales it will show complete sales when i write sum of sales it will show complete sales so look at this when i go and drag that measure it will show complete sales but i don't need complete sales there so i want only central region sales guys i want only central region sales when i need to show central region sales how can i change this go here so what you need to do is you need to use a calculate function calculate what is the expression you need to calculate i need to calculate sum of sales and what is the filter condition so look at this here filter one filter condition you can write it so the filter condition is in the square bracket guys the filter condition is in the, um, the square bracket so that means it's an optional parameter when you see any argument in the square bracket what it means it's an optional parameter you might skip it you might skip it when you skip it still this calculate function will calculate sum of order sales if you want to pass the filter you can pass it if you don't want it will show complete value guys so but i don't want to show complete sum of sales i want to pass a filter where region equal to central you can write the filter condition here go and keep comma you can go and write filter condition the filter condition is on which column region equal to central central that's it just close it this time what this calculate function will do is so look at this formula calculate function will evaluate an expression it will evaluate this expression in the context modified by filters based on this filters what are the filter condition you write written here for that filter condition it will evaluate an expression it will filter only central region data for that central region data it will calculate sum of sales case press center when you look at this you can see you can convert this value into the millions go to the format data labels display unit millions the total sales is 2.3 million and only central region sales is 0.5 million out of 2.3 central region is doing 0.5 million sales case right so like this whenever we need to pass any filter condition you can use the calculate function guys now the second requirement is so calculate a measure to show sum of sales where region equal to central and category equal to technology and category equal to technology so now in the top measure you shown complete central region sales in central region what is the sum of sales you shown it but in this i don't even want complete central sales even in the central region only technology how much sales it is doing even in the central region only technology how much sales it is doing so central region technology office suppliers furniture all the three together they are doing 0.5 million sales but in the central region also i want to show only technology how much sales we have that means two filter conditions region equal to central and category equal to technology how can you show it so this time i need to create another measure select the table click on new measure this time the measure name is central technology sales central region technology category sales so whenever you need to evaluate an expression by passing the filter conditions you need to use which function calculate calculate what you need to calculate here sum of sales sum of and yeah. what is the filter filter condition first filter condition is region equal to central region uh -huh. equal to central what is the second and filter double condition double. you can write comma you no need to write uh -huh. uh, double ampersand here just write okay. comma go and write filter condition here the filter condition is the filter condition is region equal to central category equal to technology category equal to technology technology like this you can write n number of filter conditions filter condition 1 filter condition 2 you can write filter condition 3 you can write filter condition 4 so how many filter conditions you are writing you can write it so between each filter condition it will take and operator guys when you write multiple filter condition 
but with each filter condition it will take which operator and operator let me take this let me drag the new measure which I created central region technology sales copy the format painter paste it here so complete four region sales is 2.3 million among four regions only central region sales is 0 0.5 million even in the central region only technology sales is 0 0.17 million like this whenever you need to evaluate an expression by passing the filter conditions you can use calculate function guys and the another requirement is create a measure to show sum of sales where region equal to central or region equal to east or region equal to east that means east and central together how much sum of sales they are doing east and central together how much sum of sales they are doing I want to show guys so east and central region together how much sum of sales it is doing is let me write it here select this I want to create one measure again click on new measure this time east as well as central or else let me write like this central and east what is the sales central and east together what is the sales value central region and east region together what is the sales so for that you need to use calculate function and I need to calculate sum of sales and for what region equal to central region equal to central so region equal to central when you write comma region equal to region equal to east it is wrong guys it is wrong when you write two filter condition this is filter condition one filter condition one this is filter condition two so when you write two filter conditions it will take und operator between them but this time the requirement is not und the requirement is or when you go and run this calculation you don't get any data it is formula is wrong so for this requirement this formula is wrong so when I want to between first condition and second condition I want or operator guys when you want or operator you, you can use double pipe case once after writing the first condition you need to use double pipe so a region equal to central or or operator what is our operator double pipe or region equal to what region equal central or region equal to east whenever you need and operator and operator just write condition one comma condition two whenever you need and operator write the condition one comma condition two between condition one and condition two by default it will take and operator whenever you need or operator between the condition you need to use double pipe case double pipe go and look at this here take the card visual and let me present central and east region together what is the sales central and east region together the sales is 1.18 million 1.18 million only central is 0 0.5 million central and east together is 1.18 million like this whenever we need to evaluate an expression by passing any filter condition we can use a function called calculate function one of the most important function in DAX so when you go and see when you write any measure lot of cases we will use this calculate function there are a lot of cases where we will have a requirement where we need to create a measure by passing some filter conditions in all the places we'll use which function calculate function calculate function the next important function is once after the calculate function all function the second function we have is all function let's talk about all function in the same filter functions category the next function I'll discuss about is all function so when we will use all function is so let's take an example I want to create a visual where I want to show region wise sum of sales when I want to create a visual where I want to show each region sum of sales I want to drag the region column I can go and drag the sum of sales column it will show each region sum of sales and it is showing each region sum of sales here I want to show percentage of sales so percentage of East region sales when the total sales is 2.3 million when the central region is doing 0 0.1 0 0.5 million and 0 0.5 million in this 2.3 million how much percentage it is how much percentage it is I want to show percentage of sales when you want to get central region percentage of sales what is the formula guys 
to get the central region percentage of sales central region sales divided by all the region sales into 100 guys this will give the central region percentage of sales if you need west region percentage of sales west region sales divided by all sales into 100 will give west region percentage of sales so whenever i need to show percentage of sales in the denominator i need to get complete sales so in the numerator so when you want to write percentage formula in the numerator when i use this formula i can get numerator this value guys look at this let me write the bits and pieces i'm taking this click on a new measure the new measure name is percentage of sales what i need to derive guys percentage sales what i need in the numerator in the numerator i want sum of sales i can write it when i when i write sum of sales in the numerator for each region it will calculate sum of sales okay you got the numerator value whatever you are expecting in the numerator you got it when i write sum of sales it will give each region what is the sum of sales in the denominator what you want divide by in the denominator what i need the complete sales in the denominator if i need complete sales what is the formula i need to write divide by in the denominator i need complete sales in the denominator when i want to get complete sales what formula i need to write someone tell all, all so in the denominator if you go and write simply sum of sales again so sum of sales will give uh, when you when you create any measure directly like this when you drag with any dimension column at the dimension column level it will give this value and this will give the same value and even this will give the same value so when you divide both you will get one when you divide both what you will get you will get one so i need in the numerator so the result what you are seeing in the numerator is perfect so you want this value but in the denominator i need complete sum of sales guys basically when you create any measure that measure will calculate based on the dimension value when you drag any dimension column for the dimension column what is the dimension value you have at that dimension value level it will calculate the measure it will it will show central region sum of sales it will show east region sum of sales south region sum of sales west region sum of sales but in the denominator now i don't need the particular region sum of sales i need all the region sum of sales so this time we need to use one function called all function guys let me write uh, what all function uh, when we need to use all function let me show you here <clears throat> so there is a function with the name all function all function will return all the rows in a table or all the columns all the rows in a table or all the values in a column by ignoring any filters that might have been applied so you'll understand what is this let me write first what is all function first here what i need to do is i need to go and use all function guys i'll explain how it will work i need to use calculate function why i am using calculate function is i need to pass one filter condition so whenever i need to pass filter condition i need to use calculate function calculate sum of sales this time i need to calculate sum of sales by taking all function guys when i take all function in the all function it is asking either to pass table name or either to pass column name so to the all function what you need to pass you can either pass table name either you can pass column name either you can pass column name to the all function either you can pass table name or column name now <clears throat> when you pass a table name so all function will return all the rows in the table if you pass the table name it will return every row you have in the table when you pass column name it will take all the values in the column so when you pass table name to the all function you can pass table name when you pass table name it will consider all the values in the table when you pass column name it will consider all the values in the column ignoring any filters that might have been applied that might have been applied what is the meaning is let's take all and let's take column name as region let's take column name as region so instead of passing the table name this time i'm passing column name guys column name just close this and close one more bracket and press enter press enter look at this here 
so what it will do is it will calculate so basically when you create any measure that measure will execute based on this dimension value when you calculate any measure when I write any formula it will calculate based on the dimension value if you don't want this is nothing but it will it will apply the filter and for that filter it will show the value it will show the value so when you use all function it will ignore this filters case it will ignore this filter so while calculating the sum of sales so order sales it will not consider this filter south it will not consider west what it will calculate it will calculate sum of order sales for all the values in the region column so I said that when you pass a column it will consider all the values in the column all function will return all the rows in the table or all the values in a column ignoring any filter that might have been applied so this this kind of filters it will ignore basically when you create any measure it will give the data based on that region west region what is the value it will give it will give so instead of that instead of that here if you observe so central region so it, it, this one when you don't use all it will it will calculate at this region level central region sum of sales but in the denominator I use all function this all function will consider all the values in the region column it will not only consider central region values it will consider all the uh, region values for that all the region values it will do the sum of sales when it do for all the region values you will get how much here 2.3 million sales case so look at this this particular region sales it will give divided by all the region sales it will give so you need to multiply with 100 what is the best way to multiply with 100 select the measure go to the measure tools click on percentage click on percentage and you click on percentage it will multiply with 100 and it will add a percentage symbol that means central region is contributing 21 percent west region is the way place where we are we have more sales that is 31 percent and south region is the place where where we have less sales and that is 17 percent right now I am able to show central region sales case also I am able to show central region percentage of sales so here when you need to use all function whenever you need to consider all the values in the column or all the values in the table by ignoring any filters that might have been applied in that cases you need to go and use all function guys now tell me I want to show I want to show category wise sum of sales and percentage of sales when I want to show category wise sum of sales drag the category drag the sum of sales it is showing each category how much sum of sales you have along with the sum of sales I want to show percentage of sales category wise percentage of sales I want to show when I want to show category wise percentage of sales here so when I go and use this measure if you want furniture what is the percentage of sales in the numerator I want furniture sales and in the denominator I want all the sales all the sales so that will give a percentage of furniture so in the numerator furniture sales I want it in the denominator I want all the sales when you want in the numerator furniture sales and denominator all the sales when I already written some formula this formula will not work guys here this formula will work only for what region when you, when you take region then only it will give the correct percentage when I drag the same formula here it is showing something wrong here so the same formula it need to work for region the same formula it need to work for category or some other dimension column also what you need to do is so in the place of region column go and change it to table name so, table name to the all function you can pass two things either you can pass table or either you can pass column when you pass column it will work for only one column when you pass table it will work for every dimension column in the table you just you need to go and pass here table name so when I pass a category so it will work for category in the all function you can even pass a column called so either you can pass table name or column name when I go and pass category this formula will work for only category column so when I look at this it will give category percentage correctly so uh, furniture is doing 32 percent technology is doing 36 percent you'll get correctly but here you are seeing wrong so in both the places I need to see correct values 
when I want to see correct values in both the places, what I need to do? In the place of column, just pass table name also. You can just pass table name, order table. So what it will do? All function will take all the values in the order table. When it take all the values in the order table, when it does sum, how much you will get? 2.3 million. So when I press enter, this formula will work either for category, either for region. Look at this. Here region wise percentage sales it is giving correctly and even category wise percentage sales it will give correctly. Right? So I want subcategory wise sales, a sum of sales and their percentage. Will this formula will work here? I want subcategory wise sum of sales. Drag the subcategory column, drag the subcategory column and drag the sum of sales column. It is showing each subcategory by sum of sales. I want each subcategory by percentage of sales. Will you get correctly? When you want accessories percentage sales, you need accessories sum of sales divided by complete sales. So this formula sum of order sales will give accessories sum of sales. And this denominator formula, it will calculate sum of sales for all the values in the order table. When it calculate, you will get this value. Perfectly you will get it guys. When I drag percentage of sales, perfectly you will even get here also you will even get here also so this is all function guys whenever you need to ignore any filters so whenever you need to consider all the values in the table or all the values in the column you can go and use all function all function so one way to get the percentage of sales is you don't need to write the formula also just to show how the all function will work i written this formula so if you want to get percentage of sales, region wise sum of sales and percentage of sales I want it. You don't want to uh, write the formula like this. So quickly how can you get the percentage of sales is just drag the sales column. By default when you drag the sales column, Power BI will do what? Sum. It will give sum of sales. So okay fine. Now what you need to do is I want to see percentage of sales here. When you want to see percentage of sales, you have an option called show value as. When I go to show value as, there is an option called percentage of grand total. Now currently you have no calculation. Now you need to change it to percentage of grand total. So without writing the formula, I want percentage of sales here. What I am telling here, just drag the sales column and go to the sales column, click on this expand button. By default it will do sum of sales. You need to go to show value as percentage of grand total. Percentage of grand total. You are seeing central region what is the percentage same one you written the formula here without writing the formula you got it so here also category wise percentage sales i want to show when i want to show category wise percentage of sales you just drag the sales column by default it will do sum of sales expand that go to show value as percentage of grand total you'll get it without writing the formula you got percentage of sales here also i want percentage of sales how can i get it here also percentage of sales just drag the sales column, it will do sum of sales. I don't want sum of sales. Go here, show value as percentage of grand total. When I click on percentage of grand total, here also you are getting what? Percentage of sales case. So either, either one you can use it. If you want to write formula, go and write the formula. Without writing the formula, if you want percentages, just drag the column and go and click on show value as percentage of grand total. So that it will convert to percentages case. This is all function. Calculate function and all function are important. The next one is, the next important function is use relationship function. In the same category, there is one more function with the name use relationship function. Use relationship function. What is this use relationship function? Let's try to understand. So, uh, I have an order table here. My client is asking to show, I have a date table also. Take an example, I have orders table. Along with the orders table, I have a date table also. Let me bring date table also here. How to bring the date table? Go to Excel. Somewhere I have it, D drive or in the DAX, date dimension table, click on open. I'll bring the date table, dim underscore date, click on load. Fine. So once after bringing the date table, I want to show year wise sales. So when you want to show year wise sales, once you bring the date table, so first thing better you mark this table as date table. 
go to the data view or go to the model view and go to the date table right click on it mark as date table go here when i click on mark as date table it will ask what is the date column which will satisfy the three conditions just go and select the date column press okay okay we bought the date table we marked it as date table and uh, i said that uh, so whenever you have date date table so whenever i need to show any date column here i want to show year wise sales when i want to show year wise sales i want to drag the date column always from the date table and i want to drag the trans transaction uh, column from transaction table so now you need to have the relationship i need to show year wise sales okay which year wise sales you need to show order date year wise sales or ship date year wise sales i want to show order date year wise sales so that means you need to link these two tables first based on order date and date when i link these two tables based on order date and date you'll get a relationship here you'll get a relationship based on order date and date when i drag year from here when i drag year from here when i drag sales from here it will show year wise sales based on order data so total sales is 2.3 million okay so 2.3 million you are seeing here when i want to show each year how much sales we have i'll go and take one visual i'll go to dim date table i'll drag the year i'll go to the sales table i'll drag the sum of sales it will show year wise sales based on order date case so the orders which was placed on 2014 what is the sales you will get it the orders which was placed on 2015 what is the sales the orders which was placed on 2016 what is the sales the orders which was placed on 2017 what is the sales what is the total sales it will show total sales is 2.3 million guys so fine you are showing order date year wise sales i want to show ship date year wise sales when i want to show ship date year wise sales how can i show it I want to show ship date year wise sales. Hi, Sunil. Yes. Can can I go into your character relationship? What character relationship? Ship date and order date. Right. One second. Ship uh, date and date uh, demand. Okay, I understand. Uh, I understand. Okay. Someone is asking some question. Or yeah. Can can you go to the visual view? Okay. Uh, if we apply a page level filter here from the uh, orders table. would mm -hmm. that affect uh, this particular visual yeah it will reflect right uh okay visual... maybe ah uh. on which column you need to apply tell me let's apply region in page level filter region okay drag this region in filters on this page select central region yes it is showing central region year by sales okay. central region year by sales it will show and it is okay. showing complete central region sales what is the okay. question here no actually i was you know uh, i was working on a project and i was trying to do something similar to what you are doing uh, showing the order sale and then the ship day, ship wise sales year on year uh, and i i was i had a couple of uh, page level filters but it was not working so what i'll do is i'll go and check back uh, if there is any other error on my side sure fine Thank now you. okay so i am able to show year wise sales based on order date when i want year wise sales based on ship date so orders which was shipped on 2014 what is the sales amount we getting orders which was shipped on 2015 what is the sales amount we are getting i want to see the data based on ship date now so this is based on order date so when you want to see the data based on ship date we need to establish the relationship between the two tables based on this time ship date case ship date and date when i go and try to establish the second relationship just observe here when i go and establish the relationship you will get an inactive relationship so look at this when i try to have the second relationship based on ship date and date you will see a dotted line dotted line means it's an inactive relationship so one active relationship is based on order date and date another relationship is based on in act relationship based on ship date and date when you create any visual using these two tables you'll get the data based on active relationship or inactive relationship always my visual will show the data based on active relationship only active relationship only now still it will show year wise sales based on order date only 
the orders which was placed on 2014 what is the sales it is showing but I want ship date year by sales when you want ship date year by sales go to the managed relationships you want to make this relationship active then only you can see ship date year by sales when I try to make it active it will not allow me between the two tables at any time you can have only one active relationship it is not possible to have multiple active relationships then what I need to do okay so first you need to make this inactive so when you, when both relationships are inactive what might be the values you will see in the visual you will see wrong data it is telling that 2011 is giving 2.3 million toll is giving 2.3 million it is completely wrong data so so when both are inactive you will get completely wrong data so let me go and I want to see ship date here by sales when I go here when I click on close it will show it will it will be ship date and date is active you will see different results here so previously you seen different results now you are seeing the different results so it is showing ship date here by sales the orders which was shipped on 2014 what is the sales which was shipped on 15 what is the sales 16 what is the sales 17 what is the sales orders which was shipped on 18 what is the sales total is 2.3 million again fine now I my client is asking to show both order date here by sales as well as ship date year by sales also. My client is asking to show both order date year by sales and even ship date year by sales also. Whenever I need to show order date year by sales as well as ship date year by sales, so this time it is not possible, guys. Between the two tables in Power BI, we can maintain only one active relationship. So then how can you achieve it? Client is asking to show order date year wise sales, order date year and sales and client is asking to show ship date year and sales ship date year and sales case year and sales whenever I need to show order date year and sales whenever I need to show ship date year and sales how can I show it so what I need to do is there are two workarounds to do that one workaround is first workaround two workarounds we have so we can show in two ways so first let me explain first workaround first workaround to get this result bring the date table one more time so this is the date table which I need to bring one more time so bring the date table into the model one more time bring the date table into power pivot one more time one more time this is one way guys so let me bring it so I'll go to Excel I'll go to date dimension I'll bring it so dim date click on load so you'll get another table into the power pivot model what I'll do now is so I'll rename this table I'll select this table I'll rename it so this dim date table I'll use it for so you can rename the table in many ways right click on it rename this table I can use it for ship date dim date of ship date so let's right click on it rename yeah okay it got renamed so you renamed it now let me delete these two relationships let's select this relationship delete it both the relationships let me even delete this relationship also now first I'll, I'll keep this table somewhere here order date dim date and orders table between these two tables I'll establish a relationship based on between these two tables, I will establish a relationship based on date and order date. Date and order date. Date and order date. Here, between dim date table and orders table, you have relationship what? Order date and date. And same orders table and dim date table, I'll have another relationship based on ship date and date. When I have ship date and date, so will you get the active relationship or inactive relationship? You'll get the active relationship only. This is the first relationship between these two tables. Now whenever I need to show order date year by sales go and drag the year from here go and drag the sales from here whenever I need to show ship date year by sales go and drag the year from here go and drag the sales from here so whenever you need any data based on ship date drag these columns whenever you need the data based on order date drag these columns when you go with this approach let me show you both of them now it is showing so when I, when I take the columns if you observe here I'm taking the columns from dim date order stable it will give what data when you take from dim date it will give based on order date it is showing order date year by sales 
the same visual this time I'll go and drag the year from ship date column guys I'll go and drag the year from ship date column drag the year click on do not summarize and drag the go to the orders table drag the sum of sales measure when I drag it it will show what ship date year by sales you are seeing a uh, different results when it is uh, 2014 orders placed is this much this much sales that they're relating 2014 order shipped this much sales right you are getting the expected results so this is the best approach if you have enough space on the power pivot model when you bring the dim date table one more time it will occupy it will occupy additional space additional space when you have enough space in the power pivot model this is the best approach sometimes we don't even find enough space to bring the dim date table one more time so when you don't find enough space there is a second workaround so second workaround is using use relationship function guys second working workaround is what so you don't want to even bring this table one more time just delete this table so let me delete this visual first <clears throat> let me go and delete this table right click on it delete from the model so when you delete it now I will have only two tables one is orders table and dim date table I want to get ship date year by sales if you want to get ship date year by sales first have the inactive relationship between ship date first have the inactive relationship between ship date and date let's have the inactive relationship based on ship date and date drag the ship date and date case so you will get you got a inactive relationship okay fine then go and create one measure now go to the orders table I want to create one measure select the orders table and create one measure click on new measure and <clears throat> that measure is I want to calculate here sum of sales I want to calculate sum of sales based on ship date based on ship date when I want to calculate sum of sales based on ship date when I write sum when I write sales directly like this it will give sum of sales based on active relationship yes. even though when I give the measure name as sum of sales based on ship date when I go and write sum of sales now when I go and drag the year from the date table and the measure which I created sum of sales based on ship date so it will give based on active relationship only even though you give the name like this it will calculate sum of sales based on active relationship only but this measure it need to give the sum of sales not based on active relationship it need to give the uh, results based on inactive relationship when you want to get the results based on inactive relationship how can we get it how can we get it so for that you need to modify the formula guys let me go and modify the formula here so here just you need to use calculate function so I want to pass some filter here that is the reason I'm using calculate function what I need to calculate sum of sales sum of sales I need to calculate based on what an inactive relationship you need to use a function called use relationship function so whenever you need to use an inactive relationship whenever you need to calculate any measure value based on inactive relationship you need to use a use relationship function so you need to write the filter condition dim date of date is the column one and column two is ship date column two is what ship date what is the inactive relationship column dim date of date comma so what is the another column so order stable ship date ship date just close this so there is already an inactive relationship between there is an already inactive relationship between date and ship date this use relationship function will use this inactive relationship and based on that relationship it will calculate the value look at this here press center when you press center it will give the data based on ship date yes 2014 what are the orders were shipped what is the sum of sales this measure will calculate this measure will calculate sum of sales based on this inactive relationship so people ask when there is no use of this inactive relationship why we have it when this inactive relationship will work is why you need it is whenever you need to write any formula with use relationship 
mandatorily in the model you need to have inactive relationship. When you don't have inactive relationship, this formula will not work. You return one formula here. This formula will not work when you don't have an active relationship. Let me go and delete it. Right click on it, delete it. When I delete it, the formula will become invalid case. The formula will become invalid. Just one second. Just let me close and reopen it. Let me open Power BI Desktop. You will get it, guys. You can record it. So my Power BI Desktop what not was not responded. I closed it unexpectedly. It will it will tell you view recover files. There is an option called so view record files. When I click on it, this is the report which I closed unexpectedly. Click on open. Now let it come. So now, I think some measures we lost, right? So I have first you have order table and dim date table, and you need to have inactive relationship. How to calculate a measure here? Select the order table, click on new measure, and I need to calculate sum of sales, sum of sales based on what ship date. So ship date is an inactive relationship. You need to use calculate function. I need to calculate sum of sales based on what? So inactive relationship. So when you want to use inactive relationship, you need to use use relationship function. Column one, you can take dim date of date, and column two, we can take ship date case. Ship date. You need to give inactive relationship columns and press enter. When you press enter, this measure will calculate year by sales based on what ship date. When I go and drag here. When I drag the measure which I created here, sum of sales based on ship date, it will give year by sales based on ship date. So when this formula want to work, use relationship, you need to have inactive relationship. When I go here, when I right click on it, when I delete it, when I delete it, I don't have inactive relationship. Go and check it here. This formula become invalid, invalid. So if you want to use this formula, so first of all you need to have inactive relationship based on two columns. What columns? Based on ship date and date, drag the ship date and date it. So when I have the inactive relationship using the use relationship function, you can write the formula. You'll get it. So when you use use relationship function, so you are not going to bring any new table with existing. But there are some need to. Maintain two relationships. We one active relationship between the tables, so you can use these two workarounds. Anybody have any questions? Anybody have any questions? Performance wise, also the both will be same performance, no? So uh, rather than use relationship, rather than use relationship, might be. Uh, bringing the additional table might give better performance. I think mostly it will look similar. Minutes one or two seconds, it will be later. I, I think I think I'm not sure about the calculation features. 
ఫిల్టర్స్ in 10 reports i want to filter the data instead of that create one measure use that in 10 reports there is no need of filtering the data in every report again and again same it is okay. same so but there are some cases where we need to create some measures and where we need to use that measures in 10 different reports every time creating a measure applying the filter condition it takes time there are some cases see i am telling that calculate will be used only for not for this scenario here when i am when i am writing this measure i even use calculate function generic purpose i am telling what is the purpose of calculate function okay. even uh, whenever you want to use some measures in multiple reports going and creating a measure with calculate is the best option so tomorrow when a change is required you don't want to go and do it in all the places go to the measure and make the change in all the 10 places you will get it automatically performance wise same man performance was same sir one more thing uh, we can see here we can see the what the, what the calculation we have right if it is data is coming from uh, what uh, if data view is not there how we can see this calculation sir right well, even when they, when the data view is not there when you select the measure it will show i am not in data view i am in report we know just go and select the measure it will show the formula okay okay right. hi sunil unmuted is the uh, year hierarchy from the dim date or there was another column for year i i have a another column in the dim date i derived a separate column called year okay so we can use this year uh, in the visual and then have the relationship and call upon the use relationship function to show year uh, ship date by uh, ship ship by sales what is that Uh, it's not working for me you know i have tried uh, doing the same thing but it is it is not working for me i don't understand your requirement i i'll whatsapp you would that be okay mm-hmm. okay fine fine guys so we discussed the question mm-hmm. yes you need one question okay mm. here again when you when you establish try to establish second relationship what you will get it will inactive relationship only right see you derived here okay you established relationship second relationship in is inactive relationship only right Uh, then what is the use yeah if you want to get order date year wise sales and ship date year wise sales active relationship is mandatory right hello yes ah oh implicit measures meant to be, we are dragging implicit measure and we are converting to the percentage of sales this conference is no longer is, being recorded and actually it also we are doing same mm. yeah i mean to, what is the difference means if we interview ask you what is the difference means why we are writing the measure form land if you are dragging instead of the thing we, we are doing it, it, uh, you you cannot get all the requirements in implicit measures when you got a requirement mm. using implicit measures use it you don't want to write formula there are some cases where we need some complex aggregations where we cannot get it using implicit measure i created this measure can you get this so if you see we shown here a measure value so show central region sales can you get it using implicit measures this is also aggregate calculation ah uh, we need to pass a filter condition on that where on that i mean we need to region we need to pass a filter and region and we need to filter the condition so i want to say that why you are why you are asking again 
what i said i want to use that in 10 places when i want to use it in yeah, 10 yeah. places again i want to pass filter conditions so i leave it about filter condition in 10 places leave it about it can you get it using implicit measure this is also a measure where i am calculating sum of sales there are some no, cases no, where no, we no, cannot no. achieve some requirements using implicit measures and you are not able to get it using implicit measures then you can you want to go and write explicit measure formula mm, yes got it sir fine so what i'll do is uh there is two more important functions i discussed about all there is two more functions called uh, all selected which are related to all what is this all selected so i'll share one video about uh, two more functions all selected all accept all selected and all accept what is all accept and what is all selected so when we will use it we already discussed about all function i'll share one video which will explain about all selected when to use it and all accept when to use it go and try to understand about these two functions all accept and all selected so they are related to all function so i in that video i clearly explain so when to go with uh, even that video will contain about all also so even all all function is a bit a uh, bit tricky thing to understand you can find explanation about all i already discussed it you can even find explanation about all selected and all accept also all accept also please go through that video fine guys i'll stop here for today so we'll continue from here in monday's class i want to publish the notes let me publish it and you will get a new link you want to join the classes using the new link guys on monday you need to join using the new link let me copy this one so uh, in monday's class also i'll discuss about filter functions only there is a uh, filter functions we'll even discuss in monday's class about filter functions only so make sure go through this all uh, video which i am going to share all all selected all accept those are also important go and try to understand about those functions i'll share it right now so let me save it in desktop filter functions class 1 filter functions class 1 guys class 1 just go to the desktop click on save click on publish to 8 pm john 2021 power bay files please download it from there 